Yes, roomies, welcome back to another video, and thanks for joining me. So the paladarium you see behind me is our latest build. In one of the last videos, we planted it, finished it off. But now it's time for the exciting things of actually getting the frogs in there. So make sure you don't go anywhere, because that's all coming up right after this. Welcome back. So, like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be adding the five belly toads, the baby five belly toads, to this enclosure today. But if you haven't been following along, we made this um, paladarium from scratch. This isn't for me, this is for my father in law. So, we'll be leaving here shortly. But I do want to test the setup out and add the frogs in just to cover over any problems that might come up before I let this enclosure go. But unfortunately, today, I think of the curse of the five belly toad enclosure. We unfortunately lost one of the baby five belly toads yesterday. Don't know why, um, was doing pretty well. I've been taking them out and hand feeding them to make sure they're eating, but this one was just not put on as much weight as the rest. So unfortunately we're down to three. Now it was a bit disappointing, but I, I think it is the curse of the five belly toad paladarium because when I made my original five belly toad paladarium, I actually made it for some red bellied newts. Um, the day that I was going to add them, I woke up in the morning and the newt had passed away. So whether it's a curse, I don't know, but very disappointing nonetheless. But we've still got three frogs that need a new home. And there's a couple of things I need to get done on this enclosure before we're adding them in. So firstly, we need to get this water section cycled. So we need to add some pre-cycled media into the filter itself, which on this enclosure is a Awaze Filter Smart 60. And I'll leave links in the description for any items we talk about today. But let's get some filter media in there. So now we've got the cycled media in there. That means we can add the frogs, we could add fish if we wanted to, we're not going to in this episode. But that should be good to go now because the filter I took the media from was for my 20 gallon long and that fills at a set up pretty much every aquarium or aquatic setup I've ever done on this channel because that's the oldest filter I've got. Now before we do add the five bellies, there are a couple of little jobs I do need to get done. So if you watch the last videos, I added some um, aquarium planting soil in there in one of the sections where you can see the asparagus fern. Now, I wanted the water drips down from the background, which I wanted to, to make the moss spread, but that section's filling up quicker than is releasing into the main water section, which is causing the water to leak out of the vents on the doors. So I need to do something to rectify that, which is just a case of putting some holes in the expanding foam. Um, and I've just done that with a screwdriver and that'll allow the water to flow out of that section back into the main water section, preventing it from overflowing. So that is covered. I've also had, had to add a bit of sponge on the end of the intake of the filter because the frogs are so tiny, they'll easily get sucked up into that. So that bit of sponge will act as a pre-filter and stop anything being sucked up in there that we don't want to. So that is now done. But when you think of fire bellies or frogs more so, what else do you think about? So well, I here always think lily pads. So these are not lily pads, these are um, Amazon frog bit, but I want to get rid of a lot of the floating plants in the 20 gallon anyway. As you can see, I've got plenty to choose from. So we're going to take some now. What I'm going to do is wash it off, just make sure I don't transfer any duckweed in. 
and I'll probably trim the roots a little bit, but it'll help with the nutrient uptake as well. So when we get those in. So I think that's a quite a nice final little touch. Plus that'll help with a little bit of cover, help prevent any algae from the new setup. And also hopefully the frogs will sit on them because they're that small, I think they'll probably support their weight. But I think it's now time to add the frogs. So I'm gonna remove them from their temporary setup. I'm gonna add them into an empty glass aquarium. We'll give them some food just to fatten them up a little bit before going in there. The rest are doing pretty well. There's one looking a little bit thinner than the others, but not anything worrying. So I just wanna make sure they have a good meal before they go in their new setup and obviously we'll continue to feed them daily. But let's pop over there and get them in. They look happy in there and I'm really happy to finally get them in there and see them interacting with the setup. They seem to enjoy the water section already even though well they probably did have some water section when they lived with Tim from Tim Reptile um, which is where we got them from so go and, check it, Joe, go and check out his channel if you haven't already I'll leave a link down in the description as well but we obviously give them some food now to be fair the wax worms I give them are probably a little bit too big but the bigger ones manage them and obviously make sure they got a good meal before they go into the new setup. Now the smaller ones obviously added some pinhead crickets and they've all had a good feed in now before going in. Now I'm really pleased that one of the first things they did was to jump on the Amazon frog bit or as we want to call them lily pads. But they seem to be enjoying that and they're swimming around fine, resting in the water. They've not really had an explore yet but I'm sure it won't take them long. Now as always I'll leave you some clips as well of them settling into the setup straight at the end of this video so make sure you don't switch off. Now I'm just going to keep an eye on these over the next couple of days to make sure they're settling in okay, see if there's any problems with the enclosure, make sure they can't get any places they shouldn't and that sort of thing. Keep an eye on the water section, make sure that's running correctly and we'll make sure it's ready to leave us. But if this is the sort of content you enjoy then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, it really helps me out, I really appreciate it and it helps grow the channel. If you want to do any more than watching, liking, sharing this video then you can show support by checking out my merch today, what have I got on? I got the Chameleon Tropical t-shirt on today, but I'll leave some clips so you can see what I'm talking about. If you want to support the channel anymore, great gifts for Christmas, all the money goes straight back into this channel and to provide better setups and video quality for you and my animals. As always, I really appreciate you checking out this video today. As I've already mentioned, there's plenty more builds, aquascapes and tropical fish, reptile and amphibian content to come. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And I'll catch you in the next video.